Okay, so we're going to take a few uh, moments to kind of cover what we've been doing. So you just saw five guys run past. They're wearing the jumpsuit with the yellow stripe from Sky Strike Academy. The first five missions will be on Sky Strike. You can see the clouds of the uh, upper atmosphere of the gas giant that the station is. It's one single dat file. It's large enough that I can just move it around behind so that every mission it's a little different looking. Um, so we've got uh, Sky Strike symbol uh, flags here. We've got uh, the hollow projector is set up so that it shows the uh, station, the player craft, and any relevant symbols for um, uh, for that mission. So, for instance, we're on Sky Strike, so it's got the Sky Strike symbol. Uh, it should also cycle through the a hollow image of Sky Strike Academy and whatever player craft that you're flying. Maybe even the logo for the uh, player craft manufacturer, so Cygnus, Signer Fleet Systems, etc. So you can see also there are several characters that are just walking left to right or right to left out of frame uh, and they're randomly chosen and they're playing instantly so as soon as one clears the next one starts um, the craft on the outside are set up to play between 0 and 72 seconds so it randomly chooses a time uh, a, a, an animation and a time uh, and then it, it plays it uh, I can also restrict what animations play so like externally no ships that go to hyperspace and nothing large. It's all starfighters flying by since this is a starfighter academy. Sir, um, messages. You can see the um, Sky Strike Academy there. Internally, there are also some Sir, animations message. that just loop. So this naval trooper's on guard. He just stands there and moves around a little bit. Uh, this officer, she's observing the hollow projector. She moves around a little bit. She's breathing. She moves her hands. She never leaves that spot. Um, these crates are here on the way too. Um, this doesn't, these three don't change unless I change the scene. So if I go to the next scene, I'm not advancing the mission, I'm just coming back. Now I've got you guys doing push ups. They're wearing the yellow jumpsuit, so this is restricted to Sky Strike only. There's more guys in the running by. Thank you. Given our ship a fleet commendation. Congratulations, everyone. You'll notice the uh, naval troopers gone, the officers gone. So uh, those types of looping animations play until you leave the scene, um, and then they can also be restrict restricted to certain missions. Sir. Um, all right, so we're going to advance the mission now. Okay, we advanced it one. All right, so now we're on the interceptor mission. So the interceptor logo is is showing the. The background changed a little bit. It's still orange clouds, but same idea. Uh, these guys are still doing push-ups. I guess they're getting... Must, they must have messed up real bad. Um, all right, we're going to advance it again. All right, so background changed a little bit again. Uh, these guys are still doing push-ups. Let's just reset the scene and see if we can get them to do something else. There we go. to the rear. Um, so, naval troopers back, we've got more crates on the ground here. Um, we're going to advance the mission again. Background changed. Still got the Sky Strike flags. Sir. This is the Cygnus logo, so that means we're flying a Cygnus ship today. Some droids arguing here. All right, we're gonna advance it again. All right, this should be the last Sky Strike mission. So uh, the Imperial shuttle should show up here if we let it loop long enough. Starfighter Command Staff, please report to the bridge. All 
All right, well, I'm not going to wait that long. Let's advance it again. All right, so this is the first mission. You get to the platform. Uh, so the, the platform uh, hollow image is there. You've got crewman Will Rod Hood. That's a deep cut reference you may be aware of. We've got some guys moving some crates on a hover cart. There's two Will Rod Hoods in a, in a row, I guess. Uh, this is the planet from the first mission when you uh, are on the on the platform. So it's over here. We got the the star field which Jeremy fixed. You can kind of see the stars are twinkling. Larger ships now start appearing. Um, Sir. Obviously, this is a Tie Fighter mission. So here we go. I got some more stormtroopers here on guard. Since now we're in the fleet, uh, we're going to see more stormtroopers. Um, let's see what else. Sir. Alright, so the flags are gone since that's uh, the sort of the homecoming for all the new pilots. So now it's normal operations. Flying a TIE fighter Sir. again today. Um, the platform's moved in its orbit Sir. a little bit, so the planet's over here now. Sir, check. Advance another one. Sensor technician Barnaby, report to Hangar Bay 3, staff. Now we're on the modified frigate. We're in hyperspace going to attack a, a pirate base or something. Um, so we're in hyperspace. Uh, and that, that will just loop for this entire mission. Sir, check messages. Prior to this mission. We're going to advance it again. We've done our job. Now we're returning. We're oh, still in hyperspace. Trying to get back to... Uh, capture this, recapture the station that got captured while we were away. Sir, check messages. We're going to be flying an interceptor on this mission. Okay, so we're going to advance it again. Get the interceptor model for the first interceptor mission. We're back in that orbit. Sir. Um, should tell you where you're launching from if it's the station of the modified frigate. Uh, Sir. Same idea, we're going to advance. Still in the same area. We've got modified Corvette Juno, or or maybe something like that. Stop by the command staff, please. Um, this animation, I think I'm going to restrict to only missions uh, after you've encountered the Rebel Alliance, since these uh, captured pilots are clearly Rebel pilots and not pirates. Um, I might even just make a pirate version. I don't know. Got some more guys with crates, carrying weapons or something. Sir. All right, so we just uh, finished that battle. We got a medal. Uh, so, in celebration, they put the flags up again. Sir, check messages. And a new region now. Sir, check messages. Uh, tie bomber on this mission. More stuff. Let's uh, sit here for a minute and see what happens. Again, we're going to jump further ahead. Uh, Sir, it's one me. more. Maybe Sir, three. Okay, so now we're in low. This this mission starts in a low orbit Don't scenario. Don't the orbit. Um, planet here. So now this mission it's restricted none of the ships can the animated animated ships can go to hyperspace because the angle at which they would go to hyperspace would almost look like they're going into the planet so i disabled those um so just kind of just doing little detail things obviously sir, per check mission messages. sir check messages the star destroyer is going from the 
low to high orbit, I guess. of some prisoners. Incoming wounded. Medical personnel at the main hangar. So that audio of the, the walking, uh, I did that. It's pretty terrible. I need maybe a Foley expert to help me out with that because can't get footsteps to sound right. You'll also notice that there's just this this very faint looping sound of like some beeping, some engine noise, if you can hear it. Um, and that's not tied to any specific animation, that just loops. It's tied to a blank image animation, but it just loops constantly. It's like 30 seconds. Sir, check messages. And I couple of the animations I still need to give sound Sir, check messages. outside. Okay, so let's see what mission are we on. I don't even know. Get the flight simulator and see if we can figure it out. I skipped the one mission that I wanted to showcase, but not a big deal. Anyway, you should get the idea. Um, everything's, you know, sort of randomized. Uh, obviously, if you watch it long enough, you'll see the same animations over and over again, but uh, at least it's a little livelier than previously. So, there's that. <laughs>